Hey, what up, boys? So, randomly, huge news just dropped out of the blue for Ashes of Creation. And we're just going to cut straight to the chase today because I simply have no jokes related to it. But before we get into that, our beautiful patrons and coped out the wazoo Twitch subs and I would love for you to grab yourself a... Yo, fuck, yo, la, because after two solid years, Intrepid have finally hired a new lead game designer. Phil Trost, the co-founder of EverQuest, and I'm excited to discuss this with you all today because, oh boy, beyond EverQuest, his experience in modern years is certainly interesting. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? So today's gonna be a super serial video, no jokes, no stalling. I just wanna talk about Trost, because this is an exciting development for Ashes of Creation. Intrepid's original lead game designer was Jeffrey Bard, who left to pursue his dream of VR development back in 2021. Since then, Stephen Sharif has stepped into the role of Ashes of Creation's lead designer, as well as being the game's creative director. Likely, a lot of stress and work for him to fulfill both leading roles, and it's been a major point of concern concern for the community due to Steven's lack of experience in this particular field. But no longer! For Bill Trost, one of the founding fathers of the MMORPG genre, has joined Intrepid to lead our highly anticipated MMORPG into a new age of, you know, existing. Hopefully. I think it's best we started off with the official statement from Stephen Sharif on LinkedIn. Stephen starts with Bill! Oh, welcome to Intrepid Studios Inc. team. Incredibly excited to have your glorious experience and knowledge become part of this journey. With Bill replying, After over six years at Amazon Games, working with several awesome teams on quite a few interesting projects, especially New World, it's time for me to embark on a new adventure. I've known Stephen Sharif, the creative director on Ashes, for over seven years. We met as fellow gamers through mutual friends, and I vividly remember one of our early conversations where he laid out his detailed vision for this crazy ambitious MMO he wanted to build. I'll admit, at the time, I was skeptical, mm, weren't we all at one point, but I watched with growing excitement as the team Stephen has built at Intrepid Studios gained steam, blasted through my skepticism, and started to deliver on his vision. The beautiful, deep world, the gamer attitude first, the openness of the team were all things I wanted to be part of, and so when the opportunity arose, I jumped at it. <laughs> so did I, funnily enough. It's also an opportunity to get to work with several awesome folks who I've known and worked with before, when years ago we built another that is still thriving today. That would be EverQuest. So, in many ways, it feels like a homecoming. Ashes is an ambitious game, and there are tons of challenging problems to solve. But that's the fun part of game design. I can't wait to be able to get lost in the world of Vera with you all. Interestingly now, three of the leading roles at Intrepid, the lead game designer, the lead programmer, and principal game programmer are all OGs from EverQuest. Now, although I'm not personally an EverQuest enjoyer, I still respect EverQuest's role of building the foundations of the genre. The places that these three devs take have very little to do with the actual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Uh, they're all core roles that stir the game in a direction that isn't the same old modern daily grind and FOMO-based design that corporate adopted over the years to keep players addicted. The future of Ashes of Creation's core principles are in great hands Hands, now that Trost has joined his fellow colleagues again. However, Trost did spend uh, the last six or seven years at Amazon Game Studios. Now, this may seem like a red flag to a lot of you, and at face value, I'd agree. New World was a shit show, Lost Shards was another complete joke, and you know, <sighs> Amazon Game Studios, bang. But there's no actual clear indication as to what Trost's role actually was when it comes to Amazon Game Studios. There's evidence that he was working on an unannounced project from this article, but he is also credited for working on New World. And this is the part that's probably going to be the major red flag, because, you know, 
you were bad. And we don't shy away from mocking the game here on this channel. However, Trost's experience is in the form of directing a game's vision. Not designing combat, not designing item levels, or implementing 10 bugs whenever a new feature is added. Bill Trost is one of the most respected visionaries within the MMORPG genre, and without his work on EverQuest back in the day, games like World of Warcraft, the Guild Wars franchise, and basically every MMORPG would have a very different coat of paint today. In my opinion, New World's original vision was good. Great, in fact. It was just the game's execution and Amazon Game Studios' lack of talent that forced it into a place that burnt itself at both ends, aka the obsession with modern-day, low-IQ, short-term game design. With Bill Trost joining Intrepid and bringing the last 20 plus years of his experience with him, I'm very excited for the future of Ashes of Creation. It's interesting because Steven is so picky with who he hires, leading to Intrepid having a really elite team of people who understand the vision. It's clear that Trost is still switched on and wants to bring them old school philosophies into the modern day, otherwise Steven wouldn't have hired him. And hey, <laughs> Now, maybe Intrepid has enough clout to pique the interest of some other huge names in the industry. Only time will tell. Now, where did I put that copium? But as usual, I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO. And my opinion means nothing without yours in the comments below. As usual, I want to thank my patrons and coped out the wazoo Twitch subs, and according to my fucked up schedule, we should be live on Twitch right now at twitch.tv forward slash Narcoverse. So, I'll catch you in chat and see you in the next one because... Ah, you're high on copium.